your energy forecast for July 2024. So on July 26th, we have Chiron, the wounded healer, going retrograde at 23 degrees in Aries energy. So first of all, if you've already listened to your July Zodiac forecast, you'll know where this particular energy is going to kind of trigger and activate a new focus, a new concentration, especially on your efforts in this healing journey. If you haven't downloaded your Leo season e-guide as of yet, I'm going to recommend you do so flip to this particular astro shift and really capture what's going on for you as of right now, where it is that your mental health is at, where it is that some of the pain, the trauma sequence and patterns are at because Chiron going retrograde means that first of all, the energy is now going to be focused internally just as any other planet when the energy is direct we're seeing that energy manifest and be expressed outwardly when a planet is actually retrograde it internalizes that particular focus and we have to move inward to take a good look at thyself of course chiron being the wounded healer the whole point is to turn that pain that trauma into a source of power and with Chiron going retrograde, we have to take a good look at where it is that we're currently at. Yes, this new version of self has emerged. We have been anchoring and grounding this new version of self in, but there are still remnants of the old version of self. There is still structures that the old version of self had built. We are essentially trying to close karmic chapters. And again, we know that with Saturn's retrograde, with Neptune's retrograde, with Pluto's retrograde, and now with Chiron going retrograde, we are going to be triggered and activated to take a good look at ourselves. There are still wounds that need to be healed. There are still perspectives, understandings, opinions that need to be reworked. This particular energy and effort, because it's an Aries energy, has a lot to do with our ego selves, with our identity, with how it is that we were operating in the past out of survival and where it is now that we want to start operating from that thriver type of energy where we are standing in our power where we know who it is that we are we know what we're capable of this is part and parcel of kind of keeping ourselves accountable and responsible for our healing work and because we are in the year of eight because this is about power through the transformative process of getting real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves doing the shadow work this is us tapping into new power, therefore getting more access to our creator abilities. So of course, Chiron's been in this Aries energy for quite some time. We will continue to be in this Chiron energy for some time. It collectively speaking is helping us to really tackle the masculine energies that we all have alive and well within ourselves. Of course, there's been a lot of focus on the toxic masculinity kind of alive and well in the collective and we are doing our part within ourselves and within our own healing journey to take a good look at how we're contributing to that overall toxic toxicity now we see it in ourselves we see it in our energy exchanges we see it on the greater grander stage we are essentially starting to understand where it is that the pain the trauma the triggers, the activations are needed in order for us to see our true selves. Again, we have to peel back the layers of conditioning, peel back the layers of the programming, really get down to the nitty gritty on how it is that we came to be. A lot of this is the fake facade that, again, societal structures have kind of conditioned us to kind of wear out into the world. But this is about our authenticity. We need to reach a vibration of authenticity. That is the highest vibration and frequency that we can actually achieve here in the physical form. Everybody thinks that it's love. Yes, love is up there. However, 
We have to be our authentic selves in order to truly vibrate at a love frequency. That means identifying the ugly parts, the harsh parts, the dark parts, not casting them away, instead doing what we have to do to heal those particular parts of self, accept them, integrate them into our wholeness. So many people under the influence of this collective, let's call it perspective, that we have to kill the ego, that we have to banish those darker, not so nice parts of self that couldn't be further from the truth. That contributes to the division of self where we have all of these fragments of our soul just lost in translation in this our incarnation and in others. Because of course the goal is to love and accept all parts of self. This healing journey is no joke. With Chiron's retrograde, we are going to be a little bit more, let's call it aggressive, straightforward in addressing the problems that are still alive and well and actually doing something about it. That's the kicker. While Chiron is direct, we're just out in the world trying to survive. We're just, you know, brushing topics and themes under the rug, if you will. We're backburnering a lot of problematic areas because we're just trying to move on, trying to move forward, trying to keep our head above water. We need Chiron to go retrograde in order for us to take a pause and say, okay, look at how far we've come in our path, in our journey. Look how much we've been able to change and transform in our physical lives. Now let's move inward and see where it is that we need to give ourselves a little bit of time, a little bit of permission to catch up. Again, with this new version of self that we're currently getting more and more comfortable in that is now firmly grounded and anchored in this present moment, there are still remnants of the old world, the old version of self coming back in our face each and every single day. Again, reminder, not just 24 hours ago, Mercury went into his placement of power in this Virgo energy, which we will eventually go retrograde in. The Virgo energy is the healer, the fixer, the solver of the Zodiac. When Mercury retrogrades in this Virgo energy and then creeps back into the heart and soul of the Zodiac in Leo energy, that is going to give us a totally different perspective now that Chiron is joining that retrograde crew with those heavy hitting planets on what we have been ignoring within ourselves, what we have to get real and raw and vulnerable with within ourselves, what we have to do to seek outside mentorship counsel, if need be, in order to address some of the mental health, emotional health, physical health, spiritual health concerns that we are now becoming fully aware of. So this particular energy shift, if you will, we are going to see a major change in the way that we express our new soul and spirit self in our physical form through our ego avatar. Again, we are in Leo season, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, where we have to get real raw, vulnerable, authentic with ourselves because our soul and spirit is being triggered, is being reignited, if you will, to boss up. And when we have a shift in our soul and our spirit, when we reach a different version of ourselves, that spirit needs to be fully expressed. Now, Chiron is going to be retrograde all the way into December. And so we will see Chiron go direct at the very end of this year which is a very interesting dynamic when you take a look at some of the other dominoes at play on how we're going to be entering into 2025. So again, just keep in the back of your mind that this is the year of eight. This is major change, major transformation. This is the unification of the dark ego self and the light higher self. And when we can walk that fine line in between those two parts of self, that is where we find our true power. That is when we can take control over ourselves, over our realms and realities and tap into those creator abilities. So this would be a prime time to really just kind of step back Take a good look at how far you've actually come, where it is that, again, you're now striving to end up and identifying the parts of self that are limiting the progress in actually getting there. 
Again, it's fragmented parts of the old version of self that still need a little bit of acknowledgement, a little bit of acceptance, a little bit of love in order for us to integrate that particular part of self in this new identity, in this new form. So this is going to be a great time to kind of boss up into this warrior type of spirit that of course Chiron is and the Aries energy lends us and really kind of tackle our issues, our problems head on.